bar those four. I think now, why don't we join Peter? Yes, Jimmy, I think just uh, Speedy Go, one of the two uh, French hopes to go. This is Gerard Dubrock going into his stall. And that's it. And that away. Fast break towards the outside by Lady of the House. Lady of the House towards the outside, sign of life on the inner. Leipzig just in behind them, a desirable right up with them, and sign of life going on now from Leipzig. Leipzig taking on sign of life already, then comes uh, desirable. Then just in behind them, Pebbles, Lester Piggott being chased by Katie's Philip Robinson. And then behind them, Lady of the House, who's lost ground. Shane's Billy is the back marker with L'Orangerie at the moment, and Leipzig is the clear leader. Leipzig, as they pass the five furlong marker from Pebbles in second place, then comes Desirable on the inside of Katie's. Then Sign of Life, and then Speedy Girl making ground, and then So Fine being chased along by Christy Roach, then Lady of the House, then Shane's Billy, and last L'Orangerie as they round the home turn now into the straight in the coronation stakes and it's leipzig in the lead from pebbles katie's on the outside and then desirable then comes sign of life and speedy girl into the straight and leipzig with the advantage and a commanding advantage at the moment from pebbles in second katie's there coming towards the stand side they're coming to the two furlong marker now and it's pebbles who's come to take it up now pebbles the leader from katie's in second Behind them comes Speedy Girl putting in a run and so fine coming with a run on the stand side. It's Pebbles from Katie's, the winner of the English 2000 and the English 1000 and the Irish 1000. It's Philip Robinson getting the upper hand on Katie's now from Lester Bigger. And it's Katie's going away from Pebbles and Philip Robinson being proved right. Katie's is the winner from Pebbles in second, so fine is third. Desirable four. That's the one, two, three, four. Speedy Girl came next and then Leipzig and then Shane's Billy and then Sign of Life and then Lady of the house and l'orangerie was lost and so the result of the coronation stakes was first number two katie's owned by mr terry ramsden trained by mick brown and written by philip robinson second was number three pebbles owned by sheikh mohammed trained by clive britton and written by lester pickett and third was number 11 so fine owned by sheikh mohammed trained by david o'brien and written by christy roach Fourth was number one, desirable. Here is the winner. And here's how Philip Robinson's judgment was vindicated as we review the coronation stakes with Julian Wilson. Well, it was a race that lived up to everything that was spoken of it. Leipzig took it up after about half a mile and led into the straight, still going really well. But with the ominous figure of Lester Pickett cruising on her shoulder. And Philip Robinson still with his hands full on the outside and moving into third place there and waiting, waiting, as he said he would. Leipzig just coming to the end of her tether as Leicester cruises past on the 1,000 guineas winner here. The ground a little bit firm for Leipzig, perhaps. Leicester changes his hands, moves into overdrive, but anxiously looks, half looks over his shoulder to see the completely immobile figure of Philip Robinson looming up on his outside. And the two of them drawing clear of the rest of the field now as so fine moves into third on the outside. Now Philip says go pulls his whip through, gives his filly a couple of smacks and goes into a half-length lead. But as Jimmy said, Pebbles lacks nothing in courage, fights back with tre tremendous fire and guts on the far rails, but Philip, riding the race of his life after perhaps the decision of his life, forges away in the last 50 yards of the race to go a length and a half, two lengths clear to gain a famous victory. The Irish 1,000 guineas winner beats the English 1,000 guineas winner after a tremendous race. Yes, it certainly lived up to everything we hoped of it, this 1984 Coronation Stakes. Won by this filly, Katie's, by Nono Alco, out of Mort Fontaine by Pollock. Uh, winner of three of her four races this season, including the Goffs Irish 1000 guineas at the Curra last month. Confirmed here, her running there with So Fine. Congratulations there for Philip Robinson after his triumph on this 11 to 2 chance.